Good morning, everybody. My name is Danielle Waterman, although all of my friends and family call me Nolly, so that's what I would like you to refer to me as. I am here at Twickenham. Now, last week, you would have seen Ugo was in the gym. I think it was a little bit of a reminder he needed to do a bit more training. Potentially. But I'm in one of the posh rooms in the stadium to deliver this Sunday's Get Your Shirt On. Now, we can't be at our local rugby clubs, which is such a shame, but we can still do rugby and that's what today is all about. You're going to need some equipment. It doesn't have to be a rugby ball. If you've got a little ball, fantastic. If you've got a tennis ball, if you've got some nice rugby socks, Get them from your mum's drawer, your dad's drawer, your brother's drawer, whoever it is. It could be a water bottle. It could be a cuddly teddy bear. Who knows, whatever it is, we need something to be able to chuck around to do the activities. Lastly, before you go and do all of this, I've told you so much information. I need you to show me what you're up to. I want you to get your parents, get your guardians, get your big brother and sister on social media, taking photos, taking videos of what you're up to, how amazing you are at all of these skills. Hashtag get your shirt on, on social media. 10 seconds to do all of that. Oh my gosh, it's gone crazy. Go. You guys are looking super smart in your shirts. Good work with getting all the equipment. I've got a few extra bits as well for this activity because this is specifically for the under 11s to under 14s. I'm gonna challenge you. In between each of the exercises, because it's a warm up, I want you jogging on the spot. I'm not going to be because I need all the rest I can get, but I want your heart rate going. So first activity is up and compete. I've got a towel, could be anything. You need to lie it down as if that is a big, strong French player. Whoever, whatever country you are playing against. You need a ball on the opposite side and we are going, you guys are jogging at the moment, don't forget that, all right? We are going to be going down onto the floor to compete. Something that Marley Packer has made her trade from. She's a back row and she's an absolute menace. So, the activity, let me demonstrate. We're gonna go start on the floor. We're gonna go up, grab the ball and pull it into our chest. Okay, one more. Make sure you're jogging. Don't stop. Okay. Up, ball and compete. Now, I demonstrate it from this way. One more, keep jogging. Okay, so we're on the floor. If you notice, my feet are nice and wide. My knees are bent. My back is straight. My chest and my shoulders are above my hips. Okay, two hands on the ball and then I lift the ball as if I'm grabbing it. Now, over to you. I would like you to see how many you can do. We're working up into it because it is still a warm up. Um, think about our technique. All right, off we go. We're starting on the floor, pulling the ball. Think about how strong a base we can be. Think about all of those awful back rowers that just love to steal the ball in defense. Keep working, all right? I will tell you when to stop. You're doing an amazing job. With the ball, don't just put your hands on it. The referee wants to see you pull it up to your chest, okay? So that is a really big bit of detail you need to remember. Keep going, get one more in if you can, okay? And round it up there, all right, awesome. So, the next activity we're gonna do is mountain climbers. I'm sure loads of you have done this before. All right, we're gonna be down in a nice strong press up position and then we're gonna drive our knees. Now, I'm not going up like a mountain, I'm staying flat through my shoulders and my back, all right? And I haven't had a roast dinner, so I'm not all sacky either, okay? All right, excellent. Now, over to you. I'd love you to stay in that position. Think about last week, Jack Willis on debut here at Twickenham, scored a try and he, his body was at that angle. His studs stayed in the floor. That's why we practice exercises like this, so that we can drive our bodies at a big height. Now that it might be in a tackle, it might be with a ball. You guys are still working hard, so keep working probably for another 10 seconds or so. Awesome. I'm out of breath and I'm just demonstrating. You guys are being amazing. Okay, three, two, one, wrap it up. Now, if you haven't forgotten, you will be stood up and you will be jogging on the spot. Remember, this is a warm up. We need to keep you moving. All right, next one. This time, 
we need the ball, we're going to have the ball in two hands, we're going to get a little bit more dynamic and we're going to do some lunge jumps. So my feet aren't in line, they're shoulder width, okay, I'm going to go down and I'm going to swap over. Okay, that's the starting movement and then we're going to bring in a dummy pass because I actually always like to dummy and not actually pass. So we're going to practice looking and passing. Okay, whilst we're doing the exercise, awesome. All right, over to you. This is just a demonstration for the side if you need it. Okay, 30 seconds of work, off you go. Really important in all of it, we're staying strong through our chest, okay? I'm not sagging my back, or I'm nice and strong. This is to develop my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads, and my coordination. Hopefully you're not too tired, although I can definitely feel it in my legs, and I only did a few. Last exercise is about mirror attack. Now I'm in the position where I love to be. I love to be in attack and you guys are the defenders. So you're going to mirror everything that I do. Now we are moving side to side. So make sure you move all the equipment out of the way so it's nice and safe for you. You're going to mirror me. If I go this way, which way do you go? You come with me. This is like a magic wand, isn't it? Look, woo, come this way, come on. And then this way, okay. But if I step forward, that's your cue to come and smash me. I'm really lucky I'm at Twickenham, I'm not in your house because I feel like you'd hurt me. I grew up with brothers and I learned to sidestep, see whether I can dodge you as well because they used to smash me. Okay, I'm going to make it easy. Oh, did I trick you? Okay, come smash me. Good, okay. I reckon we should have some grunts in there as well. Go on, come and whack me. Side to step. Okay, on your toes. As a defender, you're always up, you're always ready, but you've got to come and smash me. Okay, last one, side to side. If I lost you yet, if I managed to lose you, come and get me. Okay, good work. Really, really good. Hopefully you're nice and warm now. I'm out of breath, although I've had to avoid you being too good in defence. Make sure that you get hashtag get your shirt on. Loads of photos, loads of videos. I want to see what you're up to this Sunday. Make sure you also now go and grab a glass of water because we're going to up the tempo even more. Awesome work, guys. Hopefully you aren't too tired from the warm up, but you've done brilliantly. Keep getting those photos in and this one is all about technique, it's about being strong, it's being centred as a rugby player and we can link it to tackling, scrummaging, breakdown, anything where we need to be strong and controlled with our body. So, it's about quality, not necessarily quantity. I'm going to go through the coaching points. Each exercise you're going to do three times, roll through them and then you're going to go back again. So it's a physical workout. Right, so start off with we're going to do sideways bear crawls. Now you guys probably know what that is, but a bear crawl is hands and feet. Notice my shins are parallel with the ground. I'm going to step out with my hand and come in. My hands and my feet don't ever get too close because then I get really wobbly. All right, I've got a flat back and I'm looking through my eyebrows. That's a demonstration. You're going to join in with me now. So we're going to go sideways for three. Really good. Excellent. Don't have a saggy tummy. Make sure you're sucking up that belly. Awesome. You're going to go for two more of those. So sideways for three. Brilliant. And then come back. All right. Excellent. One more. Quality. Okay. Now we're going to go on to the low squat walk. Now as rugby players we are renowned for having big strong quads. Mine might be a little bit bigger than Hugo's, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Right, so we're going to go down into a nice squat position. I'm really old and retired, see if you can go even lower than me, but we're going to walk forward and then if you can walk sideways. Basically just creep around kind of like a ninja in your front room, but keeping strong and straight. That's okay, join in with me. All right, you're going to make three times that little shape you just drew on the floor. Awesome. Okay. Two more. Last one. Think about staying strong. Think about all of those muscles working. Last, not last exercise because we've got two more. Maybe I'm convincing myself I need to finish too early. We're going to do crab walks. Now, I'm not very good at this because I'm not very flexible in my shoulders, but we're in this position. We're going to squeeze our bum and suck in our tummy and then we're going to move 
to the side. I told you I wasn't very good. Okay, you guys I'm sure were brilliant at this. This is a demonstration, probably a C level. I want you guys to be A plus. Right, now over to you. I've demonstrated, you're gonna do that three times. Three steps one way, three back. All right, that's good, that's number one. Take your time with these. It's really important that we're coordinating our body, we're finding out what it feels like. If you're finding it hard, absolutely fine. Okay, just maybe shorten the distance. Last one. Okay, good work. Okay, this is the last exercise, which is a backwards roll. Now, I can't undo it, unfortunately, because I've got a mic pack on my back. Some of you guys might be, have laminate flooring at home. You might not be able to do a backwards roll. Absolutely fine. So what I've decided is I'm going to do a side sausage roll. And to make it a little bit harder, okay, I'm going to pop up. All right? So if you can, backwards roll, awesome. If you can't, sideways roll. Okay, and pop. Three of those, off you go. Remember, it's about being strong. It's about knowing where our body is in the space. And always, if you can, come back to that really strong position because that's what we need to be, whether it's with the ball or without in defence. Last one. Okay, fantastic. We're now going to rattle through all four of those exercises again. So, sideways bear crawl. Off you go. Three to one side, three to the other. I'm going to join in with you for the first one. But because you're better than me and fitter than me and stronger than me, Superb, you're going to go for two more. Wicked. Next one, low squat walk. This time I'm going to go backwards to start off with. I'm going to do an L. Okay, that's my shape. Back in. Okay, you might feel a bit of a deep burn in this one. That's a good thing. Makes us strong. Okay, brilliant. Last time, crab walks. Remember, this is what it looks like off to the side, off you go. See if I can do it. No, nope, I'm still just as bad. That's all right. We all give it a whirl. Okay, good work. Two more of those. Last but not least, three backwards rolls or sausage rolls or anything where you're basically spinning around on the floor. And then remember that strong position. Two more, superb. Remember, all of this is about control. If you can't do all of it, that's absolutely fine. Take your time. Make sure you now go and get a drink. But I want to see some smiles in those shirts because you are working so, so hard and I absolutely love it. So last week, you guys were challenged with creating obstacle courses. You said you liked it, we listened, and I love the sound of it. So I've chucked it into my session as well. So you need however many bits of equipment, um, cushions, maybe not your mum's favourite pair of high heel shoes, I don't know, anyway, but get something, okay, create an obstacle course, and this is all about improving and developing our speed and power. As an outside back, it was something that I would work on. Um, Jess Breach, one of the fastest girls in women's rugby at the moment, she would absolutely fly around this. So the first one, I'm gonna demonstrate my obstacle course, and then I would like you to come up with yours. So I've created something that's a bit higher. This one, I'm gonna do a nice big jump. So two foot, nice and high, and then I've landed it nice and strong. This next one, okay. This one, I'm gonna just hop over, but it's all about the balance on the other side. So left foot, over. Oh, I was a bit wobbly, but that's okay. With my towel, I'm gonna jump on this side. This one is a bit further forward. So this one, I'm gonna do a leap. So instead of going left to left, I'm going to go left to right. So here we are, I'm nice and strong, and then I land. Now this is a really important one for my glutes and my knees, okay, so I'm not a wobbly here, I'm nice and strong, all right? Over to you. You can create whatever obstacles you like. You can jump high, you can jump long, you can hop, you can skip, but the idea is about explosive power to create better, quicker, faster rugby players who can dodge and weave and score tries. Right, over to you, off you go. Fantastic. If you've got someone to record this, it's always a good tactic to actually record something and then watch it back and you can see where you can improve just from a coaching perspective, but also we want to see it on your social media. So tag us in it, hashtag get your shirt on. Right, you've done it once. 
I think that was okay. I'm gonna do mine a little bit quicker, and so I want you to do yours at the same time as mine. Okay, five seconds, three, two, one, off we go. Oh, oh, a bit wobbly on that one. Okay, I'm gonna go the other foot this time. Bam! Oh gosh, I have nearly lost it. Anyway, right, there we go. Fantastic effort, be creative, make sure you're as explosive and fast as possible, because that's what it's all about. Get yourself a drink. You guys have been absolutely amazing so far, and now it's just about bringing down our heart rate, but at the same time, practicing our skills, getting comfortable with this funny shaped ball. So challenge number one and ball trick number one is one hand in front, one hand behind, between our legs, and then we're gonna swap. And swap, and swap. Okay. I didn't do that many in, that, in the practice. Okay, so, and again, from the side, as you can see, all right, we're using the strength in our legs to stay nice and low and strong. I'm not a prawn, keep going. You might not be able to do it, and that's okay. If the ball flies everywhere, you just grab it like you would on a Sunday morning, and then you start again. Okay, so that's ball trick number one. Ball trick number two, next level. Instead of going one hand in front, one hand behind, this time, it's two in front and two behind. Wish me luck. Okay, so in front and catch there. Okay, if you notice, I'm strong in my legs. My knees aren't coming, collapsing in. Okay, and I'm throwing from the side again. I'm constantly keep going, keep practicing. This is a ball skill that you may never have tried before. So if you don't quite get it right, I had loads of practices before this. Keep going, that's what rugby's all about giving it a go, being confident, and not being afraid to maybe get it wrong. I did, I made a habit of it, but I just made sure that people thought I did it on purpose. Okay, right, so, we did loads of try scoring at the start, and you will have seen that I love a celebration. I was super lucky in my career. I scored more tries than Hugo. I got 47 tries for England, but there was one that was honestly the most special occasion. It was in 2014, in a World Cup final, and we scored, I scored the first try and we won the World Cup. Now, my challenge to you is on social media, I want you to come up with the best try celebration that you can. This was mine, I was on my knees, I had the ball in two hands and then I threw it in the air and then I gave it a big smile and a big grin, okay? I would like you to share your best try celebration with your hashtag, get your shirt on, in your favorite shirt, reminisce on all of those amazing tries you've scored in your career so far. So that, guys and girls, is it for today. You've been amazing, honestly, so, so proud of each and every one of you for getting out of bed, getting active. If we can't be at a rugby club, we can still practice being a rugby player and being the best that we can be. We're super lucky because I'm not as skilled as the current Red Roses, so we got in touch with them and this is what they came up with. If you're looking to occupy yourself through lockdown, have a look at your grip strength using a tennis ball and a rugby ball. See how many you can get. Bouncing a ball on top. See how many you can get. Test yourself. Go in higher. Ooh. Test yourself changing your hand. Left not so good. Ooh. Let me know how you get on. Next week, we are joined by another special guest here at Twickenham. Um, so, Make sure you're practicing in between. Come up with a new challenge. Oh my God, there's so many things to remember. But most importantly, remember to show us loads of stuff that you've been up to with hashtag get your shirt on, keep smiling, get your teammates involved and keep enjoying your rugby.